I got too dark to see last night, so it was too dark to film. So uh, I've fitted it back in and it all works beautifully. And these cogs are really nice. Fitted and this is this is actually fastened in, it's got this split pin back on it. Hi there, we're Andy and Svetlana. In the summer of 2021 we packed our dogs in the car and uh, made our way to Greece to start our new life as liverboards on a sailboat. This is our journey, I hope you enjoy it and um, please like and subscribe. Well, huh. Greece is not all sunshine, sometimes there is a bit of rain. Thankfully the wind is starting to drop again now, so this is Peleros, it's pretty deserted. But uh, Svetlana is trapped on shore, because she went ashore earlier and left it too late to get back. So uh, she can't launch the dinghy. It, uh, every time she tries to launch it, it fills with water from the waves. So uh, she's stuck on shore with the dogs. So, but the boat's not moving anywhere. Um, we've had some quite high winds, not drastic, but high. Uh, you know, we've got little, little flecks on the water now. Uh, but it's been on the nose, so. And we've got like 60 metres of chain out, so we're not going anywhere. And hopefully this will die down in a couple of hours. And we'll see where we go from there. I don't fancy having to swim ashore in the dark. That's for sure. When we were in Corfu, we met up with Ian and Natalie from SV Blown Away. They have a, a YouTube channel as well. And Ian has bought some lithium batteries, uh, but he ordered them to come to Vlijo Yacht Club and they didn't arrive in time. So rather than them having to get the ferry to the mainland and uh, hire a car to go back to Vlijo, we agreed to drive them up and meet them at Igmanitz of the ferry. We had our friend Tanya and uh, Svetlana's niece with us, so we decided to make a day of it. Thank you. You're welcome. Might be a good time to hit the thumbs up button if you could. Uh, it really helps the YouTube al algorithm, which in turn helps our channel, and it doesn't cost anything, so much appreciate it. So, back in Vathi, and uh, while the weather's a little bit unpleasant, I um, thought I'd do some jobs. So, the uh, yeah, hatch, the catch for the hatch, has, uh, has come off. They're only glued on. I think Lumar changed the design after this. 
So I've got to, I've already sanded this flat. Uh, I've got to uh, sand this uh, and then get some uh, two part epoxy and just glue it on. So that's my next job. So it's a couple of days later and it's taken me a while to actually get this uh, epoxy glue. Well, I've done the other hatch already, so it's just this one to finish off. And I'm uh, just going to mix it and uh, stick it on. So, what are you doing, Stroker? What are you chewing? So, we're back in the Wathy, in Maganisi, big Wathy, and the storm is coming. So, the seaside is full, you can get there. Maybe because the wind is blowing in the so. Now, we'll just watch this little boat squeeze on the port side of El Grey. It was really, really interesting to see there was no space, so they really naturally pulled him in. Squeezed with the boat apart. So, we've got neighbours who are the Swedish one. They tried to speak Swedish to him. So, <sighs> So, it's all looking. The two cats just watching around. One's gone into a distance, and the other one don't know what happened. The, the fishman he is full as well. So this out the last one just came in as we were just getting in so to the, the, the very last spot we need to order not angry people here out there but we the new storm so we'll watch the weather so we uh, have just managed to grab this space here perfect Here we are, again. What are you doing there? Huh? He sits there and we forget <laughs> and as we go, go down, down below he bites your head. <laughs> he gets us every time. <laughs> Don't you gosh. So we've um, well I've decided to bite the bullet and uh, buy a Starlink uh, dishy. The main reason for that is that our current Cosmote Wi-Fi is um, painfully slow. Uh, it's okay for streaming 
movies, but when it comes to the work that I do with video conferencing and conference calls and things like that, it's just um, becoming impossible to uh, to use. So I've bought the bullet. I've gone for uh, the Starlink um, RV uh, solution. It was 450 euros for the um, router and dish. But I've also done a lot of research uh, because um, everything I've come across says that the uh, Starlink router just takes too much power. Um, so uh, I've gone for uh, the components that um, you can use to convert Starlink to 12 volt DC. Um, which means replacing the router with a, a little 12 volt router and um, using a power over ethernet adapter to deliver 48 volts to the dish. So um, yeah, going to be unpacking it and we'll, uh, we'll work from there. Okay, so let's see what we've got. You'll die. We've got about everything so <laughs> This is the stand. So so non standard end do something with a nice sticker which is the, the router and the car plug instructions which is just a regular for me to instructions are on this piece of card here so, we'll look at that in a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this thing up out of the box as per factory instructions to start off with. And then we'll look at converting it to 12 volt. It works. This is where I've decided to, to mount it. This is where the old wind generator used to be. So I've uh, basically cut the pole straight and uh, put the dishy on the end of it. And uh, I need to drill a couple of holes while the a couple of captive nuts on there just to make it permanent. But this will do for now as long as we don't get any high winds. If we do, then it's going to have to uh, basically come down. Uh, I'm routing the cable, as you can see it's coming down here and it's going to go down here and along and into this hole in the stern. I hate drilling holes in sterns of bolts but that's where it's got to go and then I've got to route through to the nav station from there. So I've got to tighten these bolts now and then uh, we'll carry on routing the cable. Okay, so the Starlink cable comes out here. Uh, there's plenty of length on it to get to the router. Um, obviously, once this goes, I'll be able to pull this cable back because there's a cavity in there. I've turned this into like a USB charging station, so we can charge all our batteries and things like that. Uh, I've split these onto uh, two different uh, switches on the panel so that they've got separate fuses. Um, this is pulling 10 amps on the inverter, so it's unsustainable really on the batteries um, so uh, what I've got is up here this is my 12 volt to 48 volt converter um, this is my replacement Starlink router which is just a little GL Hynet um, router which is powered by USB-C um, and um, it's powered off this, so this has got its own on-off switch there. Okay, uh, and then this is the power over Ethernet, but unfortunately this is the wrong one. 
because Starlink needs a special power over Ethernet. So what I've got is here in this box, this converts the Starlink cable to a RJ45 cable. And there is a matching power injector for this, which I've ordered. Um, but it's coming from China, so um, it should be here uh, in about a week now. I ordered it uh, three weeks ago. So uh, once that arrives, we'll be able to plug this in, replace this with a power over Ethernet injector, and then this turns on the 48 volt which will then power the dishy uh, and then I can tidy all this lot up make it look a bit neater and get rid of this um, and uh, hopefully that should be the installation then Are we trying to catch a fish? <laughs> it's a, big, a very big fish so yeah, typically so we have no wind <laughs> I decided to Go for a swim job. Ah, oh, cold bite! <laughs> Go for skinny dipping. And as soon as I hit the water, the wind picked up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, still nice. it's turning though. The wind is turning. What? Is it dropping again? No, it's veering, it's turning. Okay. Well, we've been calmed all day. And all of a sudden the winds come. Quarter to six in the evening. And we are now. At a steady 20 knots, and it's come over the last sort of two minutes. It's, uh, it's quite bizarre how quickly it changes. So, Are we now? Yes, we're sailing now. As soon as I come down. Yeah, yeah, I know. You've been slogging away all afternoon, haven't you? It's not in your head, have you? So, we're heading towards Episcopi. Um, Planning on staying overnight there. Uh, the Starlink is hammering the batteries, so I need to get that 12 volt conversion done as quick as possible, really, because it's killing us. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's good, good sailing. That's it for another video. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Why not like and subscribe? And if you hit the notify, you'll get notified of future videos. All our videos are posted early on Ko-fi and Patreon, so uh, if you want to support the channel, then why not hop over and subscribe on there.